guys, today I'm here to do this look that I'm wearing right now. It is very pink um, and the star of today's show is the Makeup Revolution palette um, called Sugar and Spice. It looks like this and I just love it so I decided to do a makeup tutorial with it and yeah, here is the finished result. If you'd like to see how to create this look, keep on watching. I'm skipping my foundation routine this time because I just filmed my foundation routine video. So go check that out if you'd like to know uh, which foundation I used and how I conceal my under eye circles and my redness and all that jazz. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start with filling in my eyebrows and I'm using Makeup Designery's um, Eye Pencil in Taupe and Makeup Designery's 210 brush. Next I'm applying the Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion on my eyelids. I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers. This makes your eyeshadow last longer um, and it also makes the eyeshadows look a little bit more pigmented. Moving on to eyeshadows, I'm actually using Makeup Revolution's Ultra Blush Palette in the shade <laughs> Sugar and Spice. It looks like this. Um, and I'm first going to use this light pink color all over my eyelid. I'm using Sigma's Eye Shading E55 brush to do that. Then in the middle of my eyelid, I'm going to put this shade just to add some shimmer to my eyes. On the outer third, I'm going to apply this color right here um, with the Real Techniques shading brush. I'm just using a random blending brush from eBay to blend the eyeshadows together corners and putting this shade uh, which is supposed to be a highlighter but it has um, a purple undertone so I don't really like to use this highlighter but you know it will work great for this makeup look I think and then under my eyes I'll be putting this shade and I'll be using the same shade for my cream taking the darkest shade again to deepen my crease. Next I'm taking the Lorac Pro palette and I'm using shade called Sable and I'll be putting it in my crease as well. And then under my brow bone I'll be applying cream from the Lorac Pro palette. And on top of cream, I'm going to add a little bit of this new shade. Then I'm taking Makeup Designery's Cake Eyeliner in black to do the winged eyeliner look. Which I'm totally going to screw up because I'm not sitting close enough to the mirror, but I will try. <laughs> Okay, so eyeliner done without any major mistakes. I'm now taking the taupe shade from the Lorac Pro palette to deepen the crease again. I don't know, I just like to have a very prominent crease, I guess. And I find it really easy to do it when I already have the winged eyeliner on. I'm also putting taupe under my eyes. I feel like the drop shadow makes a lot of difference. Um, and really makes your eyes stand out. I'm actually taking the concealer and I'll be putting it under my eyes to brighten the area a little bit and to erase some of these things. 
Then I'm putting the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Cold Kajal Eyeliner in black on my fight line. Same eyeliner in nude on my waterline. Next I'm curling my eyelashes and applying the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara which looks like this. To contour my face I'll be using the NARS Laguna Bronzer from my One Night Stand palette and the Real Techniques um, contour blush brush. And for the blush, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice palette again, and I'll be mixing up these two um, blushes, I guess. And then to blend everything out, I always like to use um, a stippling brush. Then I'm taking this yellowish highlighter from Make Designery. I'm not sure of the name, but it's either something with butter or lemon. <laughs> then I'm also taking the highlighter from the One Night Stand palette from NARS. And I'll be putting this highlighter just um, on my cupid's bow and on the top of my cheeks. Now lastly for the lips I'm using NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. So this here is the finished look. It's a little bit out of my neutral comfort zone, but I have to say I really like it and I hope you like it too. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I will soon see you in my next video. Goodbye!